it was a whole scene. I wish I took a picture because yeah. it was like complete chaos, fire, smoke, the fire department, a homeless person on the bike. It was just Venice summed up in a picture. It was really crazy. <laughs> Frantic neighbors reacting to a rash of fires set in their Venice community. KKL 9's Lori Perez live in Venice tonight with this Lori. It just sounds absolutely crazy the way that man described it. Yeah, I can definitely tell you that neighbors are sleeping with one eye open tonight. They are on edge and on the lookout for more flames. Pretty scary because I got home and was underway. And there was a woman at the beginning of the street and said the street's on fire. And I go, oh my God. Patricia Snyder is still stunned. This trash can over here. She gave us a tour of what's left after a fiery Saturday afternoon on her Venice street, where torched trash bins and burned out dumpsters. This one was in flames when I came by. Now line Paloma Court. Charred evidence of not one, not two, but multiple fires. Yeah, they're like raging, raging out the dumpster. From here all the way down the street, all these trash cans are on fire. And we, me and my buddy were just running back and forth with pots and pans trying to put these trash cans out. Neighbors say it all started at about 12.30 Saturday afternoon. One of the blazes jumped to this staircase, burning it so badly it's off limits now. The flames were headed for the house before a resident quickly got to it with an extinguisher. Moments later, LAFD arrived to tackle the stubborn flames. Definitely, it was really scary because it, was, it wasn't like he just set a fire like he threw a matchstick. It was definitely some kind of fuel, like some kind of kerosene or something, because the fire wouldn't stop, you know, even after being extinguished. The worry now is, if this can happen in the daytime, what might happen overnight when neighbors aren't around to jump into action? If we left it an extra, like, five minutes or whatever, uh, God forbid what would have happened to this neighborhood. It was really crazy. A little too close to com for comfort, definitely. So, um, yeah, so I, I think this is going to make us move, and I've lived here since 1997, so, but I can't take this chance with a kid and pets and everything. I'm worried it's going to be my house, yeah. Yeah, because all of these, I mean, houses like this, it's all wood. Now, the big question is, uh, how did these fires start and are they connected to the wave of fires that have been connected to the homeless over the past year? We reached out to LAPD and LAFD to ask that question, but did not hear back on that question. Neighbors seem to think there's little doubt. In Venice, I'm Maury Perez. Back to you.